this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. Today in this video, I am going to be joined by Liebeck! Good morning Liebeck, and you know what? I'm not hungry or anything today, let's go and just get the video started. And I'm not only going to be joined by Lee Bear today, I'm going to be joined by a whole group of people and we're going to go and say hello to them in one minute, but first I'm going to head to my love garden and I am going to add two people today. I'm adding Alex and Nadu and that is because they made this. This is a massive lantern of me and Gregory and they took it to a lantern parade and apparently loads of people loved it and I love it as well. So I did to say thank you very much to Alex and Nadu uh, for making this and sending it to me and of course welcome to my love garden. Right let's go and begin the day's business. Today is a very exciting today because it's the grand opening of the Hotel of Dreams. The hotel that it feels like I have been building forever but it is finally 100% complete so I've got a whole group of friends and we're all going to spend the first night in the hotel but before we do that there is a few games that we're, we're going to play and I got scared then from this angle it looks like I've only got one dog <laughs> oh dear but they were all hiding around here right let's go and have let's have Barnaby today seen as it's a very special occasion I am going to take a very special dog with me not that my other dogs aren't special you're all special in your own special ways <laughs> anyway Barnaby let's go and head over to the hotel of dreams and there it is doesn't that look amazing and it looks good at day but wait until you see it at night it looks amazing uh, when it's all lit up and so what we're doing today is we're going to to decide who is going to stay in each room because uh, of course each room is themed completely different. Staying in one room uh, is going to be very different to staying in another room. So you can see down here I've got a whole load of my friends ready to play the game. We have Choo Choo who, did you set up a little farm here? <laughs> uh, how long have they been here? They've set up a little community. We've got Choo Choo, uh, we've got Chloe, we've got Lee Bear, uh, we've got Lion Maker, we have Nettie and we have Squishy. And basically what we're going to do is try and complete this park core challenge and whoever does it in the quickest time is going to pick first which room they stay in and then we're going to keep going down until we get to the slowest person and ha, Barnaby I'm afraid no dogs allowed I'm too scared to see you go up there so you're going to have to sit down here let me just slide you along on your bum along the ice look at this little tail wagging as he slides around he loves it ha, oh dear, maybe I should take you to doggy hockey sometime oh yeah so basically what they need to do is they need to jump up the bed bounce which are these beds to here then they need to go up the pillow pile which is this big pile of pillows and beds here and then they do the dream drop where they need to drop down from those beds and try and land in this very small little hole down here and hopefully uh, not hit any of the edges and this is going to be very difficult and so let's not waste any more time let's begin so going first is Lee Bear so Lee Bear you have to go and try and take it away so I'll go three two one and then I'll say go and the way I'm gonna do this is I've just got a, a stopwatch here and so I'm just gonna see what time you got so you can begin in three two one go 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 I have started the timer and the way this is gonna work is uh, basically if he falls uh, he's allowed three falls uh, until he can uh, not have any more attempts. So that's one fall. If he falls twice more, uh, then that means he can't have any more goes. And I also add 30 seconds onto their time. So you really don't want to, to fall three times. And you see that little bit there? You could jump straight across or there's another little bed uh, which you can jump to which is safer and it looks like he's made it over all of the bed bounces and now he's on the pillow pile and uh, this is quite a tall stack where you need to keep jumping up and up but he's only failed once and he's getting very high he's doing very good you can see he's not trying to go too fast he's definitely going slow and steady and he's doing well now it's the difficult bit can he make it to the to the dream drop and he did it he landed in the water and that was a time of 50 seconds under a minute very nicely very nice so he can there put down his time make sure you put down 50 seconds <laughs> and uh, then we can have the next person who is going to be squishy squishy there seems to be getting ready in position you can begin in three two one go 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 i have started the timer and uh, something else that i i didn't mention is what happens if you don't make the final drop if at any point you fall and you don't survive and you have to respawn then you also uh, don't get any more attempts and i add 30 seconds onto your time so it's in your in your best interest to not fall and oh 
She banged her head a little bit there. There's a tricky jump there where you bang your head a little bit. And she did <laughs> kind of knock her beak into it. But it didn't seem to bother her too much. And she's having an amazing time. But oh no, she fell down. But luckily she landed. But no, she fell down again. Right, you got to go back from the beginning, Squishy. It doesn't matter. You might not beat Lee's time uh, unless you're really fast. But don't worry. You might at least be able to beat someone else's time. So you shouldn't get the last pick. And now she's getting some speed. You see her there flapping her feathers as she goes to try and go even quicker. She goes onto the safety bed. She didn't want to try and do the the big job which I think is a good idea and uh, maybe if someone gets a really fast time it might be worth it but otherwise I think it's going to be good to go on the safety bed but she has fallen down again now now she's got to be starting to get very nervous because one more fall then she's not allowed any more attempts oh no that's her down so she was on one minute and seven seconds as she fell which means her time is one minute and 37 seconds Lee so you can go and write that down one minute 37 seconds and oh it doesn't matter squishy don't worry, everyone else has to have a go yet. That isn't isn't necessarily going to be the worst time. Oh, you don't have to go and cocoon yourself. <laughs> oh dear, right. Who is next? Who is next? You need to, to write down the, the time, Lee. Uh, 1 minute 37 seconds. And the next person going up is going to be Choo Choo. So Choo Choo, do you want to go and make your way to the, the starting line? Let's see if you can do better than Lee. You can begin in 3... Wait, 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 wait. You can begin in 3, <laughs> 2, 1. Go, 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 go. The timer has started. You better get and bounce on those beds. <laughs> and oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Whoa, look at him. He's not even stopped jumping. That was amazingly fast. Oh, he's using the little pillar there. <laughs> I guess I didn't say that's against the rules. <laughs> oh, no, but he fell. He fell. Oh, no, and he fell down again. I think he tried to go too fast. That was a, an amazing start. But then he tried to go a little bit too quick. But it's okay, though. If he's really fast, he still might even be able to, to beat Lee's time. But it looks like he doesn't want to, to slow down. He is still storming ahead using that little pillar. It's quite a good a nice tactic there and he's made his way to the pillow pile uh, he's decided to slow down maybe uh, he's got a little bit more nervous the higher he gets because if he falls now it could be very dangerous <laughs> uh, but he's on to the the final two jumps of the pillow pile and coming up now is the dream jump uh, dream drop oh and he's using <laughs> the little column again i guess it's not technically against the walls and he's down that was a time of 57 seconds so only seven seconds slower than lee but he's still uh, in second place so uh, if everyone else doesn't do as well uh, then he might get the second choice of the beds but coming up next is lion maker and he already knows that he's there waiting at the starting line as you can see there's steaks all over the place you've got to watch out for the food and lion maker you can begin in three two one go 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 the timer has started let's see what lion maker can do my fellow kitty cat cats are normally quite agile they're quite uh, good with agility based challenges so he should hopefully be able to do Okay. And uh, he's doing a very good job of the bed bouncers. But oh no, that was the difficult one. That was the difficult final jump of the bed bouncers. And he's not happy. You can see him there shaking his head in anger. <laughs> as he has to go all the way back to the, the beginning, the start line again. And let's see if he can do better this time. Oh no, he fell down. <gasps> one more fall. And he's not going to be allowed any more attempts. I recommend taking it a little bit slower. Nope, he's not listening to me. He is still steaming ahead. Deciding to use the safety bed. It's very difficult on your final attempt. Because you're going to be very very nervous can he do that jump no he fell at the same jump again he fell at the same jump and he's not happy <laughs> burying himself under the ice so it doesn't matter line maker it doesn't matter right the time was uh 46 seconds as he fell which means it's a time of a uh, one minute and 26 seconds i believe so uh, that was line maker's time so he's still not last and oh look who's next look who's next it is stampy cat right my go my go can i do it right so the score to beat at the moment is lee's score of a uh, 50 seconds 50 seconds i can do this i can do this right three why am i giving myself a countdown let's go i've started the timer and let's see if i can go oh, watch out choo, choo i'm gonna bang into your head there right i'm gonna use the the safety bed because i don't want to muck up there we go that was a good start but oh no i fell that was my first fall not good not good not good right if i'm gonna beat lee i am gonna have to just go all out and try and be as fast as i can let's go 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 onto the safety bed and keep going this way oh i am nervous i'm so nervous doing this and there we go i must no no i fell off i made the difficult jump then i fell off one more fall and i am out of here oh no this isn't good this isn't good right i need to do this careful no i fell down that's it that's my time up i did absolutely Absolutely rubbish. <laughs> that was 31 seconds when I fell, which means I have one minute and one second as my time. So at least 
I failed quickly. <laughs> At least I didn't take a long time failing, but failing I did nonetheless. And coming up next is Nettie. So Nettie, you want to make your way to the starting line? Looks like she's already there. And you can begin in a three, two, one, go, go, go. Let's see if Nettie can do better than me. She's getting a big run up and there she goes very fast. But oh no, she fell down on the first few rows of the, the bed bounces and getting stuck on her way back. The time is still going. You want to get back to the start line as quick quick as you can. You can see her there focusing and oh, I think she's deciding to take it slow but that was too slow. <laughs> she missed the second jump. It's okay, Nettie. Take your time. Don't go too slow. That's it. Make sure you have some carrots. Have a carrot for courage and go again. This is your, your final attempt. This is your final attempt. Can she do it? There we go. She seems to be doing much better now but can she make the whole way? No, she is down. She is down and that was 34 seconds she fell at which means her time is one minute and four seconds only slightly behind me and finally but not leastly does that make sense <laughs> oh, there we go last but not least that's what I was trying to say is Chloe so Chloe you can begin in three two one go so the score to beat is 50 seconds you've got to try and do it in under 50 seconds and she looks very determined look at her going she is going super duper fast but oh no she fell down quick Chloe quick Chloe back to the beginning fast as you can fast as you can she's doing almost the same as Lee did Lee did have one fall as well if you're really fast you still might just be be able to beat him or at least try and get in second or maybe even third place and there we go this is looking good that's quite a difficult jump these ones are, are harder to jump on uh, because the beds are kind of sideways. There we go. She was able to duck under that bed. That's another awkward jump, but she did it nicely. But oh no, she fell down. You still got another 10, Chloe. It still might be okay. If you're super duper fast, you still might be able to do this, but you got to be really quick now. You're not allowed to fall down, though. So you need to be fast and do it perfectly. <laughs> oh dear. It doesn't sound easy, does it? And it certainly isn't. But oh no, she is down again. And as she fell down, she had 48 seconds uh, on, the, on the, the timer. So that means... Uh, it's going to be a uh, 1 minute and 28, is that right? Or 1 minute 18? So something along those lines. I'll, I'll let you work it out. <laughs> I'm really bad at doing maths while I'm commentating at the so same time. So that's why I always struggle. But it looks like we now know who is going to get the first pick. So these are uh, all of the, the different rooms that are available. And so we're going to take turns coming up and picking a coloured piece of wool for the room you want to stay in. So we've got the, we've got the amazing animals, food, fantasy, water, wonderland, disco domain, art, area plant paradise and then this rubbish one at the end cake central i wouldn't bother picking this one guys by the way this cake central rubbish is just some old moldy muffins lying around the place i'd pick one of the other ones if i was you you don't you don't want to stay in this room trust me <laughs> uh, anyway Let's go and have a look at the time. So in first place, amazingly, by only taking 50 seconds, is Lee Bear. So Lee Bear, you can come up now and you can pick which room you want to stay in. So just break uh, the block uh, for whichever room you, you want to go. And you can see him there deciding, ah, I knew it, I knew it. Lee is going to stay in the food fantasy. <laughs> oh dear. And you can bake some more cakes to put in the Cake Central area as well. And uh, in second place is Choo Choo with uh, a score of 57 seconds. Only seven seconds behind Lee. So you can come up now and pick which room you want to stay in for the night. And he's going to go for the disco domain. He is going to party all night. Good choice, Choo Choo. Good choice. And then next is, so we've got 50 seconds. And then I think it is me. It's me. I I'm next. I'm next. <laughs> I was able to do it in third place. I didn't think I did that well. And I am going to go for... Why am I pretending I'm deciding? I am going to stay in the penthouse in Cake Central. Yes, 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 yes. I got the one I wanted. <laughs> and uh, next is going to be... I think it might be Nettie, I believe. Yes, Nettie is next. So you can come up and pick whichever room you want to stay in. And she's going to go for Plant Paradise. Ah, hopefully she doesn't have hay fever. And uh, then coming up next after... Uh, so that's one minute and four seconds and then it's Chloe uh, I think after that so Chloe do you want to, to come forward and decide which room you want to stay in? She's going in the art area. That's a cool one. There's some cool robot statues in that room that you can stay in. So uh, that can be your room of choice. And uh, then after that, I believe it's going to be Lion Maker. Yes, Lion Maker. Uh, you can come up and you can pick between the amazing animals or the water wonderland. Oh, he can't decide. He can't decide which one's he going to go for. He's switching between the two. He is going to stay in amazing animals. 
animals, which means, Squishy, you are going to be in Water Wonderland, and I reckon being a duck, that would have been your first choice anyway, so <laughs> it looks like it all worked out perfectly, so there we go, there's your, your little piece of blue wall, and now everyone, come and check this out, the sun has gone down, the stars are coming out, and have a look at what the Hotel of Dreams look like, doesn't it look amazing lit up like that at night, and we're all now going to go inside and spend the first ever night inside, so come on everyone, let's go inside, so because Lee won, he is going to have the honour of being able to, to break the ribbon and then we can all go inside. So whenever you want, Lee, go and cut away the ribbon and we can declare the Hotel of Dreams is now open for custom. Yay! And now it's even a little bit darker. I'm going to go back again and just have another look at it because I love this place. Look at it. <laughs> oh dear, it looks fantastic. And I know I'm saying that about the thing that I built, but to be honest, I only built a little bit of it. It was me and all of my Minecraft helpers that built this place. And you can go inside and you can look up the middle and see the massive pillar and see all of the uh, the rooms and their different colours. Uh, but first, we need to go and do a little bit of admin. Uh, me and Lee, uh, because we work here, we're going to go inside and we're going to go and give everyone their key. So if you come up to the counters and then you just throw your coloured piece of wall at one of us, uh, we're going to go and give you your key. So Choo Choo wants to stay in the disco domain. So let me go and get the disco domain key. There you go. There's your room key, sir. And uh, breakfast is uh, from 9 to 12, okay? Uh, who's next then? Oh, Chloe, hello. You want to stay in the R area. Thank you very much. Let me go and uh, do this. Here you go. If you want an alarm call, please let me know. We'll be happy to, to, to call you. Uh, uh, yeah, I can wake you up in the morning. That's fine. And Lion Maker, uh, you want to, of course, stay in the amazing animals room. That's a, a very good choice, Lion Maker. Let me just go and get you your key. There you go, Lion Maker. There's the key. Do you need any help with your luggage at all? Or are you going to be okay? You're going to be okay. Jolly good. And hello, Lee. Uh, looks like you've decided to go to the other side of the counter. And you, of course, want to stay in the food fantasy. Uh, we've got a ensuite. Uh, a bedroom for you and a nice uh, free buffet for you as well in the uh, in that room so uh, let me just go and get you your your key for you and there you go Lee and of course I I'm going to stay in the best one, the penthouse. I'm going to go to the, the very top and I am going to go and stay in the best room of all. Right, everyone, let's go to bed then. Let's all go to bed. Let's all uh, go upstairs to our to our rooms and then we can go and have the, the first night in the Hotel of Dreams. I'm just going to go and say hello to everyone and check out their room. So here we go. Here's Lion Maker <laughs> making some friends with some of the animals. Oh, don't attack them. No, I know you're a lion, but you're not supposed to eat the other <laughs> the other guests in the hotel. <laughs> I didn't know. You can see, Lion Maker, you can press the buttons and then you can get food for all of the uh, the different animals in case they get hungry. <laughs> oh dear. And then over here in the, the room next door, uh, we have Lee in the food fantasy room already cooking, already making some food. And I actually, I did skip, uh, skip my, my breakfast this morning, Lee, but it's okay. I have a room full of cake, which I can have upstairs. <laughs> uh, let's go and see how all of the, the other guests in the, the hotel are doing. I think everyone kind of got the, the rooms they wanted anyway, so I think this all worked out lovely jubbly. Uh, here's the, the water wonderland. Knock, knock. Can I come in. Oh, hello, Squashy. Oh, I'm sorry, Squashy. I didn't realise you were having a bath. I'm sorry. I'll leave you to it, Squashy. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> and then in the, the room next door, we have Choo Choo. This is all very carefully making his way in. This is the uh, the disco domain. And there's a button here, Choo Choo, you can press, which starts the disco. And it basically makes lots of racket and noise and annoys uh, all of the <laughs> all of the other people in the hotel. And there's also some music discs. If you want to uh, listen to some some nice music in the night, uh, you can you can go ahead. And uh, let me go and look up on the, the next floor and uh, see who else we have. Uh, we've got another two rooms up here. And this is, oh, this is the art area. This is where Chloe is. And look, Chloe's made friends with one of the, the robots. Look how happy the robot is. It's happy to see you. <laughs> and here are some of the, the other statues that I made. <laughs> and look at the way his belly flaps down. Ah, oh, dear. He doesn't look too happy about it, does he? Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Hopefully you have a, a good night. And oh, listen to that. Looks like Choo Choo's decided to put some music on. And then over here we have the plant paradise. And I think Nettie was in here. Hello. Netty, do you like your room? Is everything to your satisfaction? Is there enough plants in here for you? Jolly good, jolly good. Sorry there's not mushroom. Uh, sorry, I always make that joke. I love making that mushroom joke. <laughs> I'm such a fun guy. Anyway, let's go up to the uh, the top into the penthouse, the best room of all, Cake Central. You can tell why it's called Cake Central, can't you? <laughs> and here is my bed. And so before I go to bed, I get to eat one of the cakes. Nom, 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 nom. Right, good night, everybody. Good night. Have a good 
sleep. Good night. Good night, Barnaby. Whichever room you've decided to stay in. And we're going to bed. The first night in the Hotel of Dreams. Ah, this was an amazing grand opening. Uh, but there is one last thing I want to do before I end the video. I don't feel satisfied with my performance. So I am going to go outside and I'm going to go and have one more go trying to do the bed bounce, the pillow pile and the dream drop. Because I want to do it at least once just to show that I can. I couldn't handle the pressure, but I just want to have one more go just for good fun anyway. And it looks like Lee wants to do the same as well. Let's all just go. Let's just all keep playing and see if we can do better. Right, here we go. See how much better I can do? Now there's not the pressure of trying to win. See how much easier it is? And Lee's doing very well as well. It doesn't matter, Lee. You've already won. You've already shown that you're the best at this. <laughs> then you can go and make your way up the, the pillow pile like this. Oh, I got pretty fast there. I got pretty fast. I'm catching up with you, Lee. You better be quick. I'm catching up. And you can see everyone else there <laughs> jumping along and doing the same. Big jump. Big jump. And now here's the difficult bit. Here's the dream drop. Ready? Three, two, one, Lee. Then we jump in. Three, two, one, go. Woo! Oops, sorry, Chloe. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I tried to, to avoid you, Chloe, and I moved to the side and I missed. And hello, Barnaby. There you are. <laughs> uh, dear. Anyway, that is the end of this video here. Hopefully you enjoyed watching the grand opening of the Hotel of Dreams. I want to say a big thank you to all of the guests of the hotel for joining in on the fun and staying at the hotel. And I also want to thank all of you for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!